Hey y'all, welcome back to Simple Sanctuary Garden. My name is Sarah. Today we are finally harvesting sweet potatoes. Um, this has been a long time coming. I am so ready to get these things harvested because Thanksgiving is coming up and I really love serving homegrown sweet potatoes at Thanksgiving. It's just, it feels very, very special to do. Now, harvesting sweet potatoes is really, really easy. You don't actually need any special tools other than your hands. Um, I use some anyway, just to make it a little easier on myself. I brought them with me, but they're now hidden. One second. Okay, got it. So, I use some snips um, to trim these down. Um, a spade to kind of help me find the sweet potatoes in the dirt so I don't have to dig around too much. You tell him, Ginger. Okay, sorry, Ginger made me lose my place a second. But, again, I use some snips to help uh, kind of prune things back before I start digging. A small shovel to help me find the potatoes. And I also wear gloves sometimes while doing this. You guys have seen my fight with fire ants, and this is basically... Um, I wear gloves if I'm unsure about whether or not there are ants in that dirt because I am over the ant bites. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys along on my treasure hunt and then after that, I'm gonna show you guys what I do to cure my sweet potatoes. Okay, so the reason that I cut sweet potatoes back is because I can then see where the vines are connected to the soil and get kind of a heads up as to where the sweet potatoes actually are. This is the first corner. It's gotten a little bit of a haircut. You can see everywhere else is still super jungly. But I can now see where these vines are attached to the ground and get a little bit of a heads up as to where a sweet potato is. So anywhere where it's difficult to pull a vine, it's attached to the ground and that's where I want to leave it. So I cut at all the surrounding area. I haven't cut this fully as fully back as I normally would. It would usually be everything except for like right here. And that tells me where to go back to harvest a sweet potato. All right, the least fun part is done. The bed looks a little bit like a sweet potato graveyard with little zombie sweet potato fingers coming up. It's a weird description. Uh, it doesn't look like much right now, but everywhere you see a vine, it is still attached to a root in the dirt. Um, a lot of those are just gonna end up being nutrient roots and not sweet potato tubers but the only way to find out is to dig them up. So let's get to it. So this one's split from rain at some point and it's got some bug damage, which is really a shame. Um, obviously, I'm just gonna have to cut off this top part and see if any of it's still good to eat. But look at that split down both sides. Wow. All right, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit while I keep working. I'm told that um, that kind of bug damage is a sign that you waited too late to harvest. Um, I don't know how true that is because mine always have a little bit of it. Um, I 
mean, look at that. Isn't that just the saddest thing? A few of these, you can see something nibbled and then went on its way, but a few of them have really deep holes. So some of these potatoes, I'm just gonna have to cut and figure out, you know, if there's anything that I can salvage. Now, this is a little last minute before Thanksgiving. If you're watching this, it is the week of Thanksgiving and sweet potatoes need plenty of time to cure. So these sweet potatoes that I'm harvesting right now are not, probably not going to be um, part of our Thanksgiving dinner. I did harvest another bed of sweet potatoes earlier this week um, and that's what I'm gonna show you guys for curing, how to cure your sweet potatoes. It's actually really, really easy. It sounds like you're gonna need all sorts of special stuff. You don't, you don't at all. Um, it is easy peasy, pumpkin peasy. Ugh, okay, a bug just crawled over me. Hey guys, welcome back. It is technically two days later. I already filmed this yesterday, but the light's way better right now. So I'm gonna film it again, but I want to show you how I cure sweet potatoes. If you look online, you'll see all this stuff about keep it between 78 and 80 degrees, make sure there's air movement around the potatoes, um, stuff about avoiding high humidity and direct light. And it sounds like a lot, but I promise you it's not. So I'm gonna show you what I do. It's very low tech, very easy. Voila, I put out a tablecloth on the desk in our guest room and then put the potatoes on it. <laughs> um, as you can see, it is the right temperature inside my house. I can't really control for humidity in a super scientific way, but this does pretty well. Uh, they don't get any direct sunlight in this corner. It is a fairly bright room in the mornings, but they don't get direct light so that's fine and if I am really worried about it I can always close these curtains. Another thing to keep in mind is you will see these potatoes are still fairly dirty. You don't want to wash them. Um, I come through when I rotate them and kind of brush more dirt off and get dirt on my hands but you do not want to wash them. I know it's really tempting especially if you're wanting to take pictures of your potato harvest Look at this dude and he gnarly. Um, but do not wash them. That's gonna cause them or like make them think it's time to sprout. Um, so they won't store as long. The fire ants got to this buddy. You can see where they tunneled. They didn't even really eat it. They just used like tunneled through it for their nest. Those fire ants were vicious. But this is it. This is all I do. They lay out here for 10 days to two weeks to whenever I happen to eat them. And the leaving them here to sit and cure like this allows them to develop the sugars that makes sweet potatoes so delicious and changes it from starch to sugar. Well, I hope you found this really high tech method of curing sweet potatoes helpful. If you have any questions about curing them or harvesting them, please leave those below. As usual, if you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit the like button and if you want to follow along on our fall in if you want to follow along in our fall and winter gardening exploits, please be sure and hit subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified whenever we post. Thanks so much for coming today, guys. We'll talk soon.